the Global Helmet Vaccine Initiative can actually begin saving lives. Not tens of thousands of lives or hundreds of thousands of lives, but literally millions of lives. It's a very significant opportunity. My helmet, Psyche Second Skin, I couldn't imagine getting in the car and driving without it, and I couldn't imagine being on a motorbike without my helmet. When we have accidents, especially at those high speeds, I know that those things are keeping me from seeing the end of my life, and this is the same for everyone else. And it will, in the long term, save millions of dollars. But this is an investment we need to make now. When you ask any parent or anybody who has lost a loved one, they would give anything to have them back. So what is the cost of a life? $10 helmet for a child? Is that too much? We think this initiative is going to have a major impact in so many countries. We've been proving the project for the past 10 years in Vietnam. We've done that through a combination of education, through public awareness campaigns. We've done it through working closely with the government, working providing technical assistance on helmet standards, on the importance of enforcement. I'm very proud that we have set up the world's first nonprofit helmet making plant for a, a tropical helmet that we've designed. It's, it's a low cost, but totally safe. You could call it a people's helmet. And it's had an extraordinary success in Vietnam and in Southeast Asia now. So we want to take this model and begin to expand it and replicate it in other developing countries around the world. The key thing that we must focus on now, it's a call for action, a decade of action on road safety. Poor people here, as in most developing countries, they can't afford cars. So what do they do? The progression is from the bicycle to the motorbike. Motorbikes are everywhere here. They're very prevalent. It's the family, it's the family car. And it's not unusual here to see mom, dad, and even three or four children all crammed onto one motorbike. The law does say that everybody should wear helmets, but the reality is that for some reason there's this, this huge public myth that only drivers need to wear helmets. So most of the time I see my students not wearing helmet, only the fathers who are accompanying them are wearing helmets. Those who travel by two-wheelers, actually most of them are from very, very poor background. They can't afford to have two helmets. Trying to do a little bit of market research here, we want to set up one of our nonprofit factories here to make a certified helmet that meets Indian standards. The problem that, that I'm finding, as in a lot of developing countries, though, is that some of the product, this is not a helmet. This has just got plastic. It's a piece of plastic, and there's only a piece of cloth in it. So this has zero protective value. Um, I hate to say it, but it's almost criminal for things like this to be sold. The good news is that there are helmets on the market here. Here is one. This sells for though, almost $30. Um, this is, it, it meets Indian standards. Uh, it's a good helmet. I can tell already by looking at the inside, it's been professionally uh, made. But uh, you know, the price is probably very prohibitive for, for the average Indian. So I think the challenge here, even for us, is to find this middle ground of making a certified helmet and something that will protect people, but that poor people can buy. It's interesting, just in talking to the shopkeeper here, he acknowledges that this is a good helmet, but he doesn't sell that many. He sells them more to rich Indians that are driving big motorbikes, but the poor people, almost exclusively, he sells these that have nothing in them.
the FIA Foundation is supporting the Global Helmet Vaccine Initiative because we think it's vital that we start to deliver the real vaccines that can reduce road casualties across the developing world. And this initiative is a proven lifesaver. We really can inoculate children, a school at a time, put the helmets on their heads so they're going to save their lives. I have to thank the FIA Foundation because in India it is for the first time that you are getting a helmet for a, for a child. What we are doing is that we are going to every school identifying the small children who are coming with their parents to be dropped on a two-wheeler and give them the helmets. It's very unfortunate that the driver uh, or the parent is having a helmet and the child does not. Our chief minister, who is the CEO of the Maharashtra state, has assured me that every child in five years will have a helmet. More than 650 to 700 people die every year on Mumbai's streets. Two wheelers was one single element that was contributing 30% of the casualties. The Global Helmet Initiatives are useful when we were able to convince parents that it is in their interest to insist on helmet for their young child. It worked and it reduced my casualty rate straight away. India has got the highest fatalities in the world, more than 120,000. And people are always talking about that figure, but what they're not talking about are about the three times that number that are suffering serious traumatic brain injury. Good helmets will stop traumatic brain injury. And I always tell people there is no medicine for brain damage. There is nothing in the world that will ever undo a brain damaged child or adult except this. And that's why we're calling this a vaccine. It's a very serious thing, but this is a, a daily vaccine that will protect against head injury.